Good morning, Mike. How are you, sir? I'm all right. Roger, how are you? I am very good. Uh, I imagine the markets will probably start doing better if this deal between the U.S. and China is actually signed. Well, I have a feeling it's going to be uh, buy the rumor and sell the news. I'm not sure because I love actually, your sayings. Well, the markets have actually done pretty well once they, you know, caught word late last year that they were getting close to at least a phase one agreement and and really uh, calming down the the rhetoric and the concern that tariffs would just keep going up and up and up between these two economic superpowers. So they're going to sign this phase one deal today in Washington, a big signing ceremony. It's only a document that's 86 pages long, which you know, considering the implications this has for the uh, global economy isn't all that long. Uh, by comparison, for example, a federal budget in Ottawa is over 400 pages every year. Anyway, um, again, it's a phase one trade deal. Lots more to uh, work on. But and a lot of the tariffs are actually not even coming off uh, to start because they want to see if, in fact, China and the U.S. live up to their obligations on intellectual property, the currency markets, uh, other factors involving trade. But but at least they've they've talked. Mm -hmm. They've got something to sign. It looks good. The optics are positive and it should be good, like you say, for the markets going forward and indeed the global economy, because that was the big worry, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it sounds like one to invest in maybe or consider is Beyond Meats. Looking at Boy, China, it, yeah. If they get into China this year, and that that, that was that really caught uh, the markets off guard Tuesday when the uh, exec chairman of Beyond Meat, the plant-based protein company, was talking about this at a retail conference in New York about getting into China before the end of the year. I mean, they're still growing their business here in North America, for goodness' sake. So getting into that massive market could be uh, a winner. Initially, it had the share price up by almost 20 percent. It's cooled off a little bit, but nevertheless, you know, we've seen this with Tesla, for example. Tesla's you know huge in China now, and that stock is just roared higher because of the market potential, and maybe this is the tactic that other uh, of these fast-growing uh, companies are uh, taking right now. All right. We'll have to see what happens, Mike. Thank you very Indeed. much, sir. Have Thank a great you. day. You too.